Hello, my name is Julianne and I wanted to do a new moon oracle reading. So happy summer, um, happy new moon, happy solar eclipse, happy cancer season. There's a lot going on right now. Uh, a lot of intense energies. Um, so just to start, just a little bit of background. Um, the moon represents our emotional bodies, so our deepest, innermost selves. So when we're struggling emotionally, um, we can really look to the moon to help guide us towards the direction that will bring us into better balance. So the new moon is a time for rest, reflection, planning, um, it's not a time of action. This is kind of when we get our thoughts and everything organized to kind of get us to that place where we want to be when we can really reap all the benefits of everything that we're doing. Um, and the phases of the moon really reflect our states of movement and, and rest. Um, so it encourages a, us to really listen to our intuition and connect to, again, our deepest innermost selves. Um, and when we tap into that intuition, we can really take appropriate action towards manifesting our goals and creating really beautiful things in our lives. Um, the moon also really reminds us of our connection to the earth and, and how really special and beautiful and magical that is. Um, so we have the new moon in Cancer. The sun also just moved into Cancer right now, so that's double Cancer. Super emotional. Um, you know, we had the solar eclipse, which really intensifies everything that we're already feeling. So it's an annular solar eclipse, which means that the sun intersects directly between the Earth and the moon. So when the sun gets between the earth and the moon, I'm sorry, when the moon gets <laughs> between the earth and the sun, um, the moon being smaller than the sun, it only covers the sun so much. So around the moon, it looks like a ring of fire. So what they call a ring of fire um, eclipse. So that was something that happened very early this morning. We wouldn't have been able to see it where we are. It's really more in the east, like... Um, I think China, Africa, India, Pakistan, you know, that's where you would have been able to see it. So we were sleeping. We didn't miss out anyway. Um, so, yeah, we have uh, we have a lot of that going on. But with the eclipse and this new moon in Cancer, it's really about balance. Um, we have the balancing of the outward heat of the sun with that cooling energy of the moon. Um, so finding the balance between freedom and restriction, um, wants and needs, which is something that we were kind of struggling with during this, the last full moon, the, the lunar eclipse. So that's something that we really need to pay attention to. We also have Mercury in retrograde, which tells us that we really need to pause for a second and slow down. We have a lot of other planets in retrograde right now too. So there's Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto are all in retrograde right now. And then we have Neptune going retrograde on the 24th. So that's gonna be two, three, four, five, six, six planets in retrograde. So it's definitely a time to just really slow down, take a minute, um, just hit pause for a second, collect ourselves and move slowly. Um, we really need to take our time right now. With the new moon in Cancer, Cancer being a water sign, again, it's a really, really emotionally intense time. Um, but our emotions can be well balanced right now because the moon is at home in Cancer. So Cancer is ruled by the moon. So it's very comfortable in that sign. Um, so, you know, emotion doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't mean falling down on the floor in a pile of tears. It, it can be healthy emotion as well. Um, 
but you really want to allow yourself to feel right now. I think that's a big theme of this Cancer Moon. Allow yourself to feel those emotions that are rising up. Don't suppress them. Don't push them down. Let everything come up and just kind of dissect it piece by piece, taking your time, just seeing you know where everything's coming from, what you can do with these emotions and how you can make it a positive thing. Um, sensitivity, empathy, um, those are all things that we should be working with right now. Um, cancer is a really loving sign, but it's not the romantic kind of love that you get from the sacral chakra. It's really more of a maternal energy, a really motherly, loving sign. So we're especially sensitive to the emotions and moods of others right now. So it's really important for us to be sympathetic in all of our communication and allow yourself to tap into your more vulnerable kind of loving nature. Um, a new moon is a fresh start, so anything's possible right now. Um, but it's, it's a good time to get in touch with your deepest needs. Um, find out what nurtures you. Again, we have that nurturing energy from cancer. So find out what nurtures you, what feeds your spirit, what helps you feel safe and secure. Um, you know, right now we may have to allow one door to close to let another one open. Um, so it's the time to really question old behaviors and stay flexible and open-minded in that. So that's what this, this new moon in Cancer is, is asking us to do. Um, you know, we really want to focus on our relationships with our family and the feelings of security that that brings to us. Um, that's really what's most important right now. So keep this in mind as things start to open back up and before we return to our old lives, you know, a lot of us have had time to spend a lot more time with our families. So, you know, let's not forget how important that connection is to the people that we love as things start to open back up and as we come into, you know, being in the world again instead of being isolated at home. Um, cancer is associated with the third eye. So that's our connection to our wisdom, our intuition. It's where we leave the duality of mind and body and really merge into that universal consciousness. So the crown chakra is our connection to the divine. And the third eye is like that golden telephone that Andy Warhol gave to Jim Morrison. Uh, so you could talk to God. So the crown chakra is that connection to the, to the divine and the third eye is like that telephone. So it's what's connecting us to those higher energies. Um, it also correlates to how we evaluate our beliefs and attitudes. So that goes back to, you know, questioning our old behaviors and staying flexible with that. Um, the third eye really lets us see the sameness and the oneness in everything. So it, it lets us realize that we're all connected. We're all one. Everybody's equal. Um, yeah, the third eye just really enhances that, that awareness. Um, let's see, what else? Well, we really want to use that state of awareness to guide us with our communications with others. Um, so again, staying sympathetic, staying vulnerable, staying open-minded, um, in communication and accept new possibilities. Be open to that, especially tapping into this extra intuition. The moon is our intuition, our internal landscape, our emotions, and the third eye just enhances that. Um, so when you're blocked in your third eye, you may feel extra sensitive, which can very much be happening right now with all the emotions coming to the surface. Um, you may have trouble focusing, you might get headaches. So you can use crystals to balance that. Um, lapis lazuli is really great for awareness. 
Um, amethyst is good for balancing your emotions and intuition. I always have some sort of amethyst on me at all times. Um, and then purple fluorite is good for mental focus. So if you feel like you're lacking that focus or you're having a hard time focusing right now, purple fluorite is good for that. Um, so yeah, let's get into um, our reading a little bit. Let's see. So I pulled some cards ahead of time just to make this a little bit easier. And for a new moon reading, there's specific questions that you ask. So I used my moon oracle cards because how appropriate, right? Um, so the first card, the question that's asked is what's rising up in me? So what's rising up in us during this new moon? And oddly enough, now I swear this was not on purpose or not planned, but the card that I pulled was the new moon in Cancer. So how appropriate, right? Everything is very synchronistic. Again, that balance, right? Um, so this card says that you and your loved ones are safe. So this card marks a new beginning in life. It's connected to the people you hold close, family, close friends, even a new home. Um, it's a message that if you're trying to move forward with something in your life, this is a very clear invitation to do it. Uh, you're on the right track, so don't let anything hold you back, especially insecurity. So this is that's a big one. You really don't want to let insecurities hold you back. This is that's one of the things that this card is telling you. It also signals that it's time to reconnect with your family and take better care of and nurture yourself, which again is what this new moon in Cancer energy is telling us. Um, it, it's that motherly, loving energy. So you don't want to just give that energy to everyone else around you. You want to make sure you take care of yourself first. I always say you can't pour from an empty cup. So you have to make sure you're giving yourself that loving, nurturing, motherly energy before you're really able to present it to everyone else. Um, putting family first right now is really important. That's what cancer is all about. And that doesn't necessarily mean your family of origin, right? A lot of us, you know, may have difficulties in our relationship with family. So it can also mean your chosen family. It doesn't have to be you know, the people that you're connected with, um, like blood relations, um, it can be the people that you've choose, you've chosen to be your own family. Um, so staying close with them, really connecting with them. Um, you know, it's an emotional time. If you can spend any time near water to give you a little bit of a sense of peace, that's great. Um, but really meditate to help banish any insecurities you feel and know that whatever is happening right now is going to work out in your favor. That's what this card tells us. All right, so the second card, the question we ask is, what is the main message of this new moon? And the card that we got for that is the new moon in Gemini, which was our last new moon. And it says that communication is key. So that's that there. So communication, I think we all know, is the key to success in any relationship. Um, it also indicates a new start in the cycle of communication. So going back to, you know, a little bit of what's going on with the new moon in Cancer is being vulnerable in our communications. Um, <sighs> It, you know, it really ties into the previous card, the new moon in Cancer, showing us a new start in close relationships. It's telling us that it's time for a clean slate. So maybe forgiveness is in order for some relationship in your life, you know, depending on where you're at with that. Um, but clear and honest communication is what's most needed right now for what's going on, you know, in society with everybody, clear, honest, open communication is super, super important, especially right now. I mean, always, all the time, but especially right now. Um, Gemini is an air sign, so really using your intellect and logic as far as that goes. Um, it also 
signifies that there could be a new romantic flirtation going on. So maybe that's something that's happening in your life. Um, but the energy, energy of this card can be very mentally scattered as well. So again, with like the retrogrades going on, take some time to slow down, reground yourself. Meditation is really, really important to keep yourself steady. So even if it's just taking a few deep breaths when you wake up first thing in the morning or if you feel yourself starting to get a little bit agitated, especially in communication, um, I think these retrogrades are telling us to like pause, slow down if you need to walk away and come back to something. That's okay. You know, it, it's okay to really take some time to digest what's going on in the situation and and give yourself a little bit of time to process. You don't have to respond right away. Um, that's that's the trouble in the world we live in is you're expected to have, you know, an answer right off the bat and you can't give yourself any time to really think about things. Um, but this card also tells us to tap into our emotions. So don't be all head and no heart. So again, relating back to cancer, the emotions, you know, that vulnerability, that, that, um, empathy within communication. All right. And then we have our final card. So the question that we ask with this card is, what is the final outcome? And we got the new moon in Libra. So um, it says a new romantic cycle begins, which, re which relates to um, a little bit of what Gemini saying, it was saying that there might be a new romantic flirtation going on. So Libra is about balance. Um, the give and the take, which also goes to what I was talking about. Oh, what's going on there? Um, also goes back to what I was talking about as far as, you know, the balance of the summer solstice and the new moon, balancing those masculine and feminine energies. Um, give and take. It, it also shows the possibility of a new relationship or a new romantic interest. Um, but it would be a healthy, balanced relationship. So um, it could be about also doing things in pairs or partnerships. Um, Libra is a sign of relating. So again, going back to that Gemini card, the open communication is really, really important. It's not a time to be selfish, but that doesn't mean don't take care of yourself. Um, but it's important to really think of others because we're pulling from that maternal energy where we want to take care of others we want to make sure that they're okay we want to make sure that they have what they need so it's not a time to just think about ourselves but again we have to take care of ourselves first before we take care of others um this card also tells us to reach out to somebody and let them know that we care so there may be somebody in our lives that we don't even realize needs to hear that right now so you know if somebody just pops into your head, maybe give them a call and let them know that you're thinking of them right now. Um, the new moon in Libra card also tells us to feel more and think less, just like with the Gemini card. Um, it's a harmonious and balanced card. So it, it's all about new beginnings when it comes to relationships, um, justice, negotiations, um, finances. The overall theme here is that the outcome of what's happening right now wants to be brought to an equilibrium and wants to be balanced. So, you know, what's rising up in us right now is our emotions, um, family, any family issues, that sort of thing. What the main message is to focus on is our communication, so our communication in all relationships, especially in those relationships that are closest to us. And then the new moon in Libra card is really telling us to find that balance and, you know, to really think with our hearts too, but I think the overall general theme is that everything's going to work out 
but just keeping that mindfulness and awareness to help guide us through this next cycle is really, really important. So I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day. Take some time to maybe reflect on some of this and use it to help you, um, you know, move forward in creating your intentions. Um, you might want to journal a little bit. Um, some questions you can ask yourself is, how am I feeling right now? And how do I want to feel? Um, you can also ask yourself, how can I better nourish or nurture myself right now? That's, that's a big theme with this, with this Cancer New Moon. Um, and then just jot down some goals that you have and some steps that you can take towards them. So the, you know, our goal and our intention are two different things. Um, a goal is some set place that we want to be, but the intention is how we go about doing it. So keep that in mind as we have this new moon in Cancer. And, you know, really take some time to yourself to rest, reflect, and enjoy the rest of the day. I hope that this has helped give you some guidance. And I will see you soon. Have a beautiful day and happy Father's Day to all the dads and father figures out there.